You all set there? I'm rolling. No, okay. <clears throat> I'd like to call to order the uh, Oxford Area Cable Communication Commission meeting for Monday, March 28, 2022. Stand and pay our respects to the flag. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Who's the secretary? I got it. You. Right. Ed. Roll. Yeah, here. Catherine. Here. Me. Yes. Karen. Here. John. Zamal. <laughs> He's <Okay>. here. <laughs> All right. We have a full board. Uh, Can we make, introduce Catherine? Huh? Catherine, this is your first meeting, right? It is my first meeting. Can we introduce Catherine? Oh, sure. I was going to do that after oh, the sorry. board, but that's fine. Go ahead. Oh, well, uh, this is Catherine Colvin <laughs> from the township. She's been appointed to our board. Run away, run away. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for coming. You're from uh, Addison? No, no, I'm from the township. Oh, you're, you're Bill's replacement. Yes, yes, oh. I'm Bill's replacement. From RG, I guess, since she was taking over. You okay, Jerry Jan? Yep. Um, and we make a motion on item number four, approval of the agenda. So moved. Support. Been moved and supported. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item five, election of uh, communication commission uh, board officers. Need to, we start from the top or from the bottom? I'll make a motion to nominate Ed Hummick for chairperson. Support. Okay, we have a motion and it's been supported. This is roll call. Yep. Hummick, yes. Karen, yes. Yes. I should let you say it. Yes. <laughs> Ed? Yes. John? Yes. Catherine? Yes. Did you go by Catherine or Kathy? Or? Catherine, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, vice chair. Who's our current vice chair? Do we have a vice chair? Charlene Sotheby. Oh. Sotheby. John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the vice chair do? We're on the main defense down here. Yeah, it's basically a uh, uh, dormant position for most of the time, unless I'm not here, I guess. But. Uh, I'll do it if nobody wants to. I'll make a motion to nominate Karen as vice chair. Since I got a little experience. We have I moved over, so we yeah, have two a, newbies gotta be on the, the really low end of the job duties here. I gotta learn. <laughs> Alright, we have a motion for uh, Karen. do we have support? Support. We have support. Roll call. Helmet, yes. Karen? Sure. John? <laughs> Yes. Ed? Yes. Catherine? Yes. Okay. We have, um, who's next? The treasurer. Do we have a treasurer? We don't have a treasurer. We have a treasurer? We used to. No. What's next then? Secretary? <coughs> we got to have officers. We got to have, what's next? Secretary? Secretary. Okay. I'll make a motion Who to wants to be secretary? I'll make a motion for Mo to be secretary. Okay. That's <laughs> the board. We have you supporting that motion? <coughs> sure. We have a motion to be supported. Okay. Maureen, roll call. Catherine? Yes. John? Yes. Ed? Yes. Uh, Karen? Yes. Helmut? Yes. So that's three positions. Do we have another? Treasurer. The treasurer. We should have a treasurer. What's a treasurer? What do do? Okay, we'll do a treasurer. Nothing really. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, we all work on the budget. The bylaws require uh, four board members? I don't know. Let's look. Why don't we just do it anyway? Okay. Who, who wants to be treasurer? I'll be treasurer. Do we, we have a motion? Catherine. I'll make a motion to, to appoint Catherine as the treasurer. Support. We have a motion that's been supported. Roll call. Karen? Yes. 
Helmut, yes. John? Yes. Catherine? Yes. Ed? Yes. There you go. Well, nice. there we are. Very good. And that went smooth. Yes, we did. Okay, item six, public comments and items not on the agenda. No, you're the only public, that's why I'm looking. <laughs> you must say something. No, I will. Say. <laughs> Minutes from the meeting of January 10th, 2022. If there's no questions, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the January 10th, 2022 meeting. We have a motion. Do we have support? Support. It's been supported. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Bill review. Uh, expenses and bill run. Uh, from January uh, 4th through March 14th, uh, bill runs. So it is three months. Uh, they're on pages 5 through uh, 16 for your review. Do we have a total? There is a total. Page nine. It's here. It's fifty-three thousand nine fifty-two ninety-eight. Make a motion to approve agenda items A, 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 B, and C, including the bills in the amount of fifty-three thousand. No, that's above it. I'm sorry, 54. Oh, $54,384.98. Support? We have a motion to support it. I have a question. Um, I'm 30. You have the net uh, is 53, 952, 98. Mm -hmm. When I did my math, I was $32 off. Oh, I don't know. Where did I, where am I screwing up? Thirty-two dollars were actually uh, DVD copies that we got money for, as opposed to spending. I think that's what. It's it's the very first line. On very the first line, line, right? Yeah. So I'm to so add the first, the thirty-two, and the four thirty-two, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That doesn't add up. Well, no, that's the total. You had four hundred. Oh, the four thirty-two is the total. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, then it adds up. That's where I'm 32 yeah. off. Good job. Good job. Well, we, yeah, we had a, that refund from the uh, insurance company. For yeah, I, I thought that was a, a separate entity of 432, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. no. All right. I was putting flooring down for three days. I'm delirious. I'm sorry. All right. We have a motion that's been supported. Do we need roll call? Helmet? Yes. Geibel? Yes. Catherine? Yes. John? Yes. Ed? Yes. Um, revenue and expense report and the... No, I did A, B, and C. Oh, you did all A, B, and C oh, all yeah. together? Oh, okay. That's... Fast. That is true. You did. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oakland County Investment Pool Report, page 22. Any questions regarding that? Catherine, are you familiar? I am not. That's what we have in the bank. Okay. The number is... Um, oh, jeez, I can't... 209-244-96. Two, okay. 209 right? 70 42. Okay. 070? Uh-huh. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm looking at the wrong line. Um, just so you're aware and John's aware that uh, that total uh, kind of ballooned because of 2020 was the year you guys didn't spend any money on labor because of the lockdown for uh, COVID. So funds still come in but they didn't get spent that year. So our fund balance uh, went up probably more than 100,000 than here it should be right now. Okay. And that also ebbs and flows depending on our bills. It's not a permanent number at all. So if there's no questions, I'll take a motion on uh, 
Item 9A. I'll make a motion to receive and file the Oakland County Investment Pool Report dated March 3rd, 2022. Support. We have a motion that's been uh, supported. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, the OACC Commissioner and Alternate Contact List. Yeah, I've asked for an alternate for Addison Township, so we're going to have that done. Oh, I forgot to contact. My home phone number is incorrect. What should it be? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> I'm not telling you. I've had this phone number for 31 years and they took it away from me after I moved. Now I can't remember what my new phone number is. So I'm just going to have to. I'll just send it to me. Get, I'll get it back to you. But this this was taken away from us. Also, my email is lowercase j. I J back in 17. What did I, I didn't hear what John said. Yeah, the, my email is a lowercase j. That's not what you hear. Difference or not. I don't know if the letter committee. It makes a difference. Oh, okay. We'll correct it. And you're going to get Catherine's info? It's on there. It's on there? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh. Yeah, the missing information is my alternate for Addison Township, which <coughs> I'm emailing with Pauline today. Oh, the, I kept thinking Catherine with a K. I'm sorry, I was looking at C. Carrie, well, did you say you talked to Pauline about your alternate? Yes. I mean, we'll get it appointed through Bruce, but she we emailed today, so. Any other uh, adjustments? We're good with that? There's no need to vote on this for anything. Is there a receiving file? It's just information. Mm -hmm. Do we need a motion to receive the file? Do we need a motion to receive a file? No. No, that's what I thought. Unfinished business employer identification number, status, tax exempt. Um, that's me. Uh, we have our employee identif identification number, um, but we are now having to pursue a employee. Unemployment number. Well, EA, not EAN. EAN. And, mm -hmm. and Raina that's for unemployment. has filed for that. <coughs> So we're waiting for it to come back. Right now, it's kind of crucial because ADP is requiring it and charging us $25 a month for not having it. We need to talk to uh, Raina. Raina contacted Sue McCullough, uh, Curtis today and said that it should come in the, in the next two days. Oh, okay. Curtis Wright, sorry. All right, this is, um, again, for uh, individuals that are new to the board. Um, we had a situation uh, some time ago where um, there was a um, discussion about our independence as a uh, government body. Uh, Oxford Township thought that they, um, because we, they were doing our payroll, we were under their employment number, we fell under their um, attorney's um, recommendations versus our attorney, and there was a conflict between uh, opinions. And uh, the uh, Oxford Township supervisor requested that if we wanted to use our own attorney for our opinions that conflicted with theirs, then we needed to be completely independent. So we went the same path as the township's um, Parks and Rec. We uh, acquired our own unemployment, our employee ID number. It didn't add any expense to how we operate because the township still handles all of our payroll and our uh, book work. Um, so all we did was officially separate between the two. So if we have any um, uh, issues going forward, whether legal opinions may differ, ours would take precedent because we're separate. The township has no concerns about being attached to us and for any legal opinions going forward. That's where this is coming from. Okay. Uh, 
the 2022 OACC meeting schedule and location of meetings. So you've already decided on the schedule, or approved the schedule, but then at our last meeting that we had, there was some discussion about whether it should be here or at the township, and that did not get settled. Personally, I don't care. Other uh, members have to come from the other side. You were concerned about Karen. Well, and you all, the two of you have to come from the other side. I just thought this would be a more of a central. I'm like eight minutes away. I'm, I'm just so. just trying to uh, make it fair for everybody. I, I'm figuring it's probably easier for you here, but I don't I don't know. I'm flexible wherever you I'm not flexible. Tyler. Catherine. It's a, a minute difference for me, really. So. Wherever the heat's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't care what's the preference. I don't care what, what's the preference. Right, exactly. I mean, is the, is the village willing to allow us to use this or, or if yeah, we wanted to? I don't care. It's up to the board to decide um, what makes more more comfortable, more sense. I don't. I don't care. I can tell you the audio is better at the township. There you go. <laughs> For us. So we need a motion to secure our location, or just you have in the past. Make a motion to hold my board our board meetings at the township offices on Dunlap Road. Support. We have a motion that's been supported. Oxford Township Office is on. Yep. Don't. 27. Oh, wait, that's not the address. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Proposal for full time OCC employee health benefits. Terry? So I called around to several um, in insurance companies and was told by most, except for the one that really wanted to sell us a package, that it probably would be too expensive for us to purchase insurance for two employees. So my alternate request would be to either subsidize the two full-time employees that are getting not getting insurance, or you guys decide what to do. But in the meantime, I also called AFLAC to see if that might help, which this is Patrice Fredericks from That's Africa, why you're here. And that's why she's here. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say anything bad about it. <laughs> well, then why don't we um, wait until we hear from, from Patrice, okay. and then we can decide how we want to go forward with uh, uh, with the health benefits uh, situation. So you want um, to table it? Are you taking care of one, two, and three with this, with your comments? Yeah, I'm pretty much, that's it. All right, is there any questions from the board? I know Mike, I spoke with him, he was, his concern is he wants to see like a number for like the health benefits and what that cost would be. So that was my extra request. Oh, I, yeah, we, we'll get a whole proposal together before we make a decision so everybody can look at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I seen him. Yeah. Well, this, yeah. is, this is just in the early stages. I was, um, again, I was confronted by uh, different members of the community, mostly uh, with Oxford Township leadership, wanting to know why we aren't providing health care coverage for our full-time employees. Um, again, this was because our association with the township and us separating their employees are all covered, ours were not, and there was a concern there as well. Absolutely. And this is why this came up, but the fact that we were separating, it didn't, you know, there was, the conversation was, well, you should still consider this for your full-time employees. And I'm not disputing that, it just, that's why I agree. Yeah. we have to look, as a board, look at that. Any other questions? Okay, then we'll go to new business, 10A. And <laughs> There we go. Ms. Uh, Frederick, you're up. Yes, okay. okay. Um, I thought I for the And we're not going to all of this. I think this is very short. Yeah, I and should say. I see what was being um, presented to the um, employees. The employees. And we did see this 
presentation. We uh, do. Uh, the employees. Oh, gotcha. Salary and hourly. Mm -hmm. Anybody that wanted to see it. Mm -hmm. So just to give you, uh, first, thank you for allowing me to, to address you today regarding the AFLAC. Um, we provide supplemental insurance. It is very different from health insurance and does not take the place of health insurance. So um, health insurance pays providers, doctors and hospitals, AFLAC policies will pay money direct to a policyholder in the event that they are treated for an illness or an injury. Policyholder can do whatever they want to do with the money put it towards medical bills or use it for any of their own personal expenses. Uh, pay your cell phone bill, buy groceries, put gas in your car. So uh, with these benefits, they are um, employee paid. So it's not um, cost added to extra community television. Um, so if employees want it, they enroll in it. Premiums are paid through payroll deduction. And we bill in the arrears. So there's no upfront money having to, you know, buy the TV station to fund anything having to do with AFLAC. You, you would bill the commission for the employees that are involved and we deduct it from their pay and then you get a one check Correct. per month? Correct. Hypothetically, if a plan starts on April 1st, the invoice is due May 15th for the deductions in April. So Patrice wanted to approach the board to get permission for the employees to buy into the, the package. There has to be at least three employees interested in order for her to be able to offer that these packages to us. And this is just between the employee and AFLAC? Correct. And we just act as And they the, can pick out whatever package. We, we act as a middle the banker. Yes. The banker, uh -huh. yeah. Right. Yeah, right. right. Um, does it matter if they have health insurance or at all? Can they still uh, go forward with this? They can go forward regardless of health insurance. Um, the only stipulation is if somebody is covered on a state plan like a Medicaid, um, the only, there are certain policies they cannot go under that plan. So someone could still get a disability policy if they wanted to protect their income, you know, in the event they can't work. They can also take the policy with them when they leave. Policies are, yes, thank you, owned by the employee and um, upon retirement or separation, they can take the plans at the same price. So I just um, asked Terry if it was okay if I came. That way, if there were any questions from the board, I could just answer the questions and try and avoid, you know, back and forth, back and forth kind of a thing. I certainly don't have a problem with us offering this service. Do we have three employees that are interested, do you think? They voiced it, oh. yeah, yes. Is there is there an agreement that the employees sign AFLAC though? And some kind of agreement that they is regarding the terms and all this? Like? So that's done. There's um, in your packet the um, payroll count terms and conditions. So I put that in there just for you to see. To set up the account, if you will, um, a designated person. If you say that Terry's designated, then Terry would do this phone call with AFLAC. We set up an account with AFLAC, and the, the terms are just basically if somebody pays um, premiums in advance and they leave, you can get your premiums back. You're not paying, paying premiums in advance. Um, there's having to do on here with um, disability coverage. If it's pre-tax deducted, then the employer has to pay payroll taxes. We don't pre-tax disability. So, you know, the um, applicant would just sign the application with AFLAC, and um, we usually set up a plan year for any pre-taxing, and we do that at no charge. So if somebody has a plan that's pre-tax, they understand that they're in it for the plan year while they're employed with Oxford Community TV. Each contract is individual. That's fine by the individual. Can they cancel it anymore? No, only certain plans can be canceled at any time because of pre-taxing. If it, and it's up to the it's up to Terry and the employees, and if they don't want to pre-tax, they don't have to pre-tax. Then they can cancel whenever they want. Is there any obligation by the uh, commission here if somebody backs out or anything? Are we 
there's no obligation on our part other than to transfer funds from one to another. That's correct. That's it. That's it. I come in and do an open enrollment, see employees, I assist them with claims. No, you, you, you allow me to come in and see the employees and pay the invoice. I mean, I don't have a problem with that myself. I'd like to go through this whole thing, but I don't have a problem with it. Uh, I don't want to go through it right now, but uh, I'll, I'll go through it just to make sure we're not, you know, there's no issues on our end, but I don't have a problem with it, I guess. As long as the commission's not part of the contract. Right. <laughs> yep. Does, um, I, I, I'll ask the question to the board. Does the board have a problem if I give this to the attorney to review, and, or should I just review it? Do we really need to pay somebody else? Well, I'm just asking. If I mean, the comfort. I'm prepared to go <coughs> through it myself and read it. I know the village did this with the village employees. Does the township do this? I do. They have a I don't know. Um, I did it years ago with OFS, Open Family Services. How long ago did the village? Um, I'm gonna say I'm an old lady. You probably did it. Yeah. Twenty yeah. years ago. Yeah. I, I don't have a problem with it. I guess on his face. I have no problems with us reading it and coming back next month and right. saying let's do it. Yeah. Or let's not do it. You didn't tell us about this. Yeah. Next. Maybe just table it for a month yeah. and then we can vote on it next month. Seven, seven. Patrice is from Leonard, by the way. Oh. <laughs> She's local hometown. Is that is that okay with you? We just want to review that. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. My card is in each folder. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If you um, would like to address questions at next month's board meeting, just let me know and I can attend that as well. Nota, by the way, also participates in this, which is how I got Patrice's name. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Yeah. So where is the contract that the inter that the employees would? Is it, it, you don't have a copy? It's either. not a contract, it's an application. Oh. It, it's an application for coverage. Um, each policy has its own application. Um, we do all of that on a computer. It's, um, I, mean, I can send you the applications if you want to review them. The, the brochures go highlight the coverage. And, um, each brochure has a chart inside, if you will, that shows the, the benefits that are paid, and then behind that, there are additional pages that have, you know, defined things. I mean, us reviewing this isn't going to... I just like, want to make sure like we're deciding not... deciding what you, what you want to do. It doesn't, this isn't going to say anything like, is the commission anywhere listed yeah. here? Like, it's not. So I'm wondering if it really matters to wait a month, unless we want to see the application and make sure of it. It's a smorgasbord. So each employee would pick out different um, policies. It's a cafeteria plan. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So would there be a fixed subsidy or a variable one? Right. Then again, I, I, we can vote now with it. It's, um, we don't have a problem with uh, her pursuing the employees. I, I feel at this point fairly comfortable with saying giving her the uh, gold green light, but again, that's the rest of the board. Okay. Do we want to take a motion? And yep. I'll make a motion to approve participation, participation with the AFLAC insurance company for our employees at OACCC, OACCC. I'll support. Okay, we have a motion. It's been supported. Roll call, please. How if yes? Guy, will you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin? Yes. John? Yes. And? Yes. I get on a roll, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a robot. You don't have to stay. <laughs> Thank you, Patrice. Thank you. In fact, you know what? If you want to, I don't want to waste this. You feel free to reuse. I'll keep mine. That's the chair. He has to. Okay. <laughs> he has to read it. Yeah. All right, 10B, you don't feel obligated to stay either. If you can definitely. We won't be offended. Re uh, 10B, request to change the OACC bylaws. Um, Mike McDonald's not here, so uh, John, you're going to step in for him. Yeah, Mike, we just wanted to request the change in laws, basically, so I believe, I'm trying to, he just briefly spoke on it. 
but making it to where we, from what he was saying, it would be like each township different. He kind of tied that into with the um, thing regarding the police with the health insurance. So I, personnel, he wants to modify personnel policies. That's it. Yeah. I think a lot of them like had this letter we already have in our bylaws. Exactly. I think the form part. The super form for the personnel policy might not be in there. Right. Um, well, is there an issue with what he was requesting? I mean, what he was seeking? There is not. He also mentioned that there were some grammatical errors. So if we were going to change those bylaws, we should change it all. But this is the only thing he wanted that that he made clear that he wants is modify personnel policies and hire employees. <coughs> But I will note, when that's done, it has to go before each board and has to be signed by each board. So it has to be on their agenda and a total approval from each board. So, so it, it'll be a can you, long process, but we can do it. Well, can a formal uh, presentation be put together for the actual modification, what exactly he's looking for? And then we can approve it at the next meeting and it can go in front of the boards? And I can, I can speak with them, get all that together, and organize them. I would ask for a red line version of the current bylaws and yeah. show me exactly what's being changed. So yeah. it's a, it's in your packet. It should. Be. Yeah, but this isn't a red line version. Right. Like, you know, something when it's crossed out, showing what's been taken out. And Nothing's what's been, been taken in. out. He's just added these four words. That's it. it. That's it. Three, three words. words. Sorry, <laughs> three words. That's well, I, it. I have a question. If we're on that, if it says a super quorum. Um, president of the meeting is required to elect officers. And you just said it has to go vote before each board. What did we just do today? That's a good question. No, no. The, the signing the bylaws and explaining what oh. is being changed has to the go change to the board. changing the bylaws has to be part of the board. Yes. Uh -huh. You did elect officers with a full super quorum. Well, then what's the difference? The bylaws. Oh, well, I see what you're saying. You so did the right thing today. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I, I got you. Don't oh, tease. I don't know what what's the what's the rationale behind adding that to the super quorum vote? Like, what do you know? I think because the yeah. benefits thing came. Yeah, out. he tied up the benefits. I think that's why he wanted to do that modification. He wanted all, all communities to have an input. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the benefits. Meaning the um, yeah. the healthcare benefits. Mm -hmm. Because that's why he also wanted to get the numbers too, so that each. But we have our own budget. If it doesn't work with our budget, why would we even, right. as a board, we wouldn't pursue it? You can't approve that budget without a super quorum. I understand that. Same but, thing. Yeah. But why is um, individuals outside of this board concerned about the expenditure? If well, that's why they're public meetings, and everybody's always concerned about. Well, I understand that, but that's what we're here for. And they're here too. Well, I understand, but we we established the budget for the this entity. We wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't think we're we wouldn't overstep our authority and, and approve a budget that we couldn't support. I mean, that's fine. I, I don't. Uh, I report back to the village have, council at every council meeting what we the, we did here. Exactly. I give a report on the cable. Oh, I understand that. I just, it's not very exciting to say. <laughs> Here's my two cents on this. And uh, this is coming from Addison, who doesn't have an alternate right now. But if every uh, township or village has a board member and an alternate, then it should all, there should always be somebody at this present at this meeting. So, like, are we, I mean, to add this, I'm not sure what are we really saying that it's okay for. I mean, like, I missed a meeting and I didn't have an alternate. Wait, did I miss a meeting? No, it was canceled. We canceled it because we didn't have a quorum. Either way, it was canceled. Right, right. but I mean, right. I follow my logic. Like, why do we need to add this if we have two representatives that, if one can't make it, then the second one hopefully can? I know that every once in a while, maybe two people can't make it for the right. same, but. I don't necessarily disagree. Again, I wish Mike was here mm -hmm. to justify himself. And I can speak with them more on it and come back next meeting with it. Yeah. I mean, the grammatical errors, I, I didn't read the, uh, 
I haven't verbatim, but that that's fine. I mean that that should be done. Right. Um, Is what we did tonight with the AFLAC something that we had to go back before all the boards? No. Not only to change the budget. budget. It's not even affecting our no, budget. We're, we're she only was just looking for mid for permission from so this board. Nothing could be the or, personnel or, house. Approval, you know. No, it's not a okay. personnel policy thing. <coughs> because we're not supplying benefits. We are not paying for it. What, what, what exactly is he looking to, to interject? I mean, whereabouts? Here, will you pass that to page 29? No, page 29. It's, Ed, it's yeah. right in red yeah. there, Ed. It's a visible list. I still think it would be helpful to have the full bylaws and see if this pivot all, because it's only one page, it's like the first page is missing. We sent the bylaws to everybody. That's kind of what brought it up too. We sent out the bylaws so that because there were new people on the board, we sent out the bylaws. So he just wants this interjected That's into it. this bylaw. So he wants it. These insert, three words. Inserted. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Seems but like I see what you're saying. Work to change three words. And the commission has the ability to <coughs> accept it or reject it. Do you have an additional copy of the bylaws, Dave? For Catherine? Well, actually, I prefer it electronically if I could get it. I, yeah, I, you didn't get one? Maybe I did. It's, yeah. you know. We'll do it again. It's a, 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 is it in like a Word format instead of PDF? What is it, PDF? It's PDF, I believe. Don't no. you have, the bylaws are in PDF? Yeah. Yeah. See, the full bylaws are in the page right 25 through 27. The modification request is on page 28. Is it just me or, I mean, I have a problem. I'm sorry, not 28. Fire employees. But, like to uh, on 29, but sorry. Well, that's already in there, so. I, I understand, but I, the word doesn't. It doesn't well, know. yeah, you make a good point. Like, if we're going to have to go back to all our boards to get approval, we might as well, like, ship shape this thing in shape. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, I, I, that, that makes the most sense, I guess. Is, I agree. Then we need a workshop on a, on a, on a little bylaw committee. Yeah. True. So maybe we should move, to, uh, maybe I'll make a motion to table Mike's request um, and then we have until this, next meeting. Do we need to establish a, uh, do we want to invite members of the various community governing boards to be part of a workshop committee to interject their... Oh, check out now. Oh. <laughs> well, he's already, yes. Mike has already um, put forth a uh, request already. I'm just not sure why we would want to include maybe him or somebody else on a workshop committee to review the bylaws and make proper changes. Can you go ahead and invite them all ahead and he's on the committee. Well, I, 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 I will. I just. It, I, Let's just have Mike come to the next meeting and tell us what he wants before we all go well, to change it. Th this is what he wants, right? These three words put in. I, I'd like to know why. You just sat here and argued. If we, if there's five of us here from all the different communities, why do we have to go through this? Well, he's saying he wants a super quorum to decide on personnel. modifying personnel policies. He's not saying that they, as a board, want to make any decision. They want us to have everybody here. Um, well, minus either me or Catherine, because we're super warm with just one of us here and the other three. Um, but he just wants a super quorum in place in order to modify personnel policies. That's what he's saying. Yep. Okay, then. I, but if we, Karen says, if we have to do this and go in front of every board to accomplish this, we might have to just go through the entire bylaws and clean and it up. And have a red line. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. Yeah. Right. Then you really need to go through and if we're going to do it, we should do it all. Well, does, doesn't that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So then who wants to do that? Do we want to put a workshop together or do we want to invite other members from the governing boards or no? Well, I think it would be a workshop with people on this committee, right? So, or on this board. So maybe we should table it till next meeting, 
have Mike come and then establish, maybe establish a workshop and see if he wants to be on the bylaw committee and then we can revamp them and then bring it to the board. All right, vote. that's a simple solution. So my motion is to table this agenda item till next meeting. Right. Set aside. Are you supporting? Yeah, just to move to the next meeting. Okay, so we have a motion to uh, table till the next meeting. It's been supported. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, Terry, sign purchase proposal. Um, so, I want to have a bigger presence in the community, of course, and I think one way to do that would be to put a sign on the north side of our building, just says OCTV. Uh, Parks and Rex has volunteered to help us out, and if you drive by and see their sign, it says Home of OCTV. So I got proposals um, from three different companies to put an electric sign out there so it can be seen from Seymour Lake Road, or we can be seen from Seymour Lake Road. We've had people come in and say, I didn't even know you guys were here because we're not visible at all from the main road. Do you apply for a sign permit for the township? Um, I've spoken with them about it, not until I got approval to get a sign. But if the cost um, in, approved, uh, excuse me, include uh, the sign permit, 250, 250 from the township. Why is it important people know where you're at? <laughs> Just a question. I mean, it's the, the general public doesn't come in. Because how many of you said to me, people don't even know we have a television station in Oxford? So I think we need to be more visible, which also, well, we'll go on to the next one in a minute, but I just think this would help make us more visible. And it's totally up to you guys. Do you have a recommendation? Um, the cheapest one. Um, let me see which one. I forget which one it is. I think it's fast sign. Fast sign is the cheapest one. And then um, there's also an estimate for uh, the electricity from Gwyndon Electronics. And um, Wildfire was supposed to have brought in an electrician and he didn't show up. So your? That signs total with the, the um, permit from the township and the electricity is 38.75. Um, the <coughs> support is 31.05, and then add the 250 from the township and 750 for electricity. So that's. Let's see. What? Why do I only see? I see a different number for the, the fast. The 23.64.60 plus the electricity that's on. Three pages behind the last page, page, the last page of that packet. 28460 plus 750 <coughs> plus 250 for the permit totals 3875. Oh, so this written estimate here is from uh, the electrician. Is for this estimate. It's for putting the electricity but it's so that we can have electricity. It's a catch for this estimate here. It's for any one of them. Whichever sign we decide to purchase, oh, 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 oh. This it's going to cost seven fifty to put <coughs> electricity in. Okay. So um, it, is it going to go by another sign that's by the road there? Or? Pardon me? Is there other signs where this is going to go? There's happen? not another sign on the building, and you can only have one sign on the building. I spoke with Jeff. Kind oh, wait, of. this was to propose to go by the roadway, right? This is to, to go on our building facing Seymour Lake Road. So it would be our garage. Have you been to the studio? We haven't Not yet. Oh, come visit oh, us. Here. <laughs> so yeah. the building runs east and west mm -hmm. on Seymour Lake Road. We're at the far east side of that building, and it would be on the north side wall facing Seymour Lake Road, right above our door. We have a like a um, utility door. Mm -hmm. But it's facing Seymour Lake Road. Right. 
And there's other, the other, whatever else is over there, do they have signs on there? They don't have, they have a sign at the entrance to the park. They don't have a sign oh. on the building. Yeah, itself. the township uh, parks and rec has a sign. Oh, gotcha. Because their office is on the other end. Oh. Because nice. there's township, parks and rec, senior um, center. center, and then us. They have an informational LED sign that rotates through, I don't know how many cycles yeah. of information. Parks and rec. Right. Parks and rec does. Yeah. And the entrance of the park. Is this going to be a just a fixed lit sign? Three by six, right? It's not going to project any messages or anything. Nothing. No, it would have a dark background, <coughs> white like letters O N T B um, lit up. Just very similar to what we had on um, Lapeer, only that was black and white, and it had a camera or something on it. I just want O C T B. So the, the purpose of having it lit up is so people can see it at night when they're driving up? How far is the building from the roadway? Pardon? How far is the building from the road? That's what I was thinking. Uh, I'll say 150 feet. Right. It's not, it, I don't think it would be distracting and I need to talk more to the building department about that. <coughs> I spoke with them about what will it take to get the approval for the sign mm -hmm. and the amount but I really haven't done black and white with them yet because I wanted to get approval. The big thing is, is if cars are going by at 40 miles an hour, they don't even know we're there. It would be a lot less imposing than that rotating sign that's at the entrance of the park. It's not like that. It's a uh, Palazzo de Bacci sign at all. <laughs> yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the expenditure of $3,875 for the purchase and installation of an ONTV sign and illumination. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a support? I'll support. We have support. I have a question. Where did 3875 I'm sorry? $3,875. Yes. That's the total. Yes. Okay. That's the fast signs. Okay. Right? Correct. Fast signs. So we have a motion. It's been supported. Do you have any questions? Roll call. Helmuth, yes. Geibel? Yes. John? Yes. Ed? Yes. Catherine? Yes. Thank you. Attendee employee wage increases, Terry. So, um, we've done this. Christmas, school shooting, not the best of times to do a, a review. So we're going to hold off until the summer, then do her review. We already have her writ review that she did. So we'll have six months of work, work worth of work to prepare for her review. So that's for mine, but I have a question for employee wage increases for um, 
the projected 6% national average standard cost of living, with the exception of Connie Miller, and I wanted to increase on top of that a dollar sixteen to bring her up to sixteen dollars an hour because of the work that she's put in and will have to continue to put in learning the playback system. And the knowledge she's gaining is beyond what I have at this point in the playback system. Hmm. So it, down at the bottom, if you're reading that sheet, um, it's a total of seventy-two eighty-two per year, and it's within the projected budget for twenty twenty-two. What have we? What have been the past percentage increases? It's been three percent, but because the national average is six percent, that's why I put the six percent on here. When you say six percent, like meaning now is the six percent mm -hmm. average currently. So I just went through all this with my work, and every employee who didn't get a raise that was, you know, didn't account for all the inflation, the response from the company is, you have to keep a consistent raise over the years because, like, the raises don't ever flow. So I don't know. Are we going to go back to 3% next year then? Or? I would. It depends on, I think it depends on what the standard cost of living is. I know, and, and I was following suit with the township. Well, I, I have my did question, that, what are the townships or the villages doing? The township first? just did it. That's what I'm saying. I followed suit with the township. I thought that's not unreasonable because of the cost of living right now. And our employees don't make, if you do a comparison to what, they, what their skill level is, they're not even close to, say, if they went to 2.7 or even public access stations across the state. Oh. Not not like public access, so, not Romeo. They're not making what Legoria makes, but Oxford Township is giving six percent increases in wages. What's Addison doing? Right. Uh, we we gave a five percent in January across the board, which is pretty standard. Five percent. Yeah. So she's insane. But I mean I think the way I, I don't look at the percentage more, I like look at what the actual hourly rate is and what it, you know, how it looks as compared to what's out there in the real world. And, and, and there's your I don't team. really know what's out there in the real world when it comes to TV stations because. Well, you guys have tasked me many times with that information and I have provided that several times. This is the um, wage sheet that we have currently and this is per job title right and the far right column is what the end amount and hourly rate would be yes just so i'm mm -hmm. making sure the top yep. yep top and that's just based on what we've been paying throughout the years i added a three percent increase I went back to, I think, 2020 or 2019 and added a 3% increase to what our top or what our wage scale was every year. So this is a 3% increase since 2019. I think 2019 or 18. So we're talking total of six employees here? Yes. Yeah, I think, I mean, looking at hourly rates, yes, I agree with you. It's like, they're not. I mean, they're not, they're not high. I mean, so. To, to put the percent, the six percent on there, it does, it's still, it doesn't seem like a lot. I'm not saying to give more, I'm just saying it doesn't, when you look at right, the, the, I, that's what, how at I an hourly rate of six percent just doesn't yeah. like that much. It's not a huge increase. I was going to say, you know, Wendy said it's only $15 an hour. Right. I'll take a motion from the board, anybody on the board I'll on make, this? I'll make a motion to approve the proposed OCTV employee wages for 2022. Hourly wages. Employee hourly rate wages. As presented on page 37 of 42. Okay. How about that? There you go. Uh, can Hold I, on. Can I ask? Dave just reminded me. So I wanted to make this proposal in January. Oh, you can retroactive? You retroactive. And I'll add to my motion and make it effective January 1st, 2022. Thank you. And thank I'll you. I'll support Dave. that. We have a motion that's been supported. Roll call, please. 
Chairman? Yes. John? Yes. Catherine? Yes. Ed? Yes. Mo? Yes. Thank you. State EAN number. Stop where we already covered that. We did, kind of, we did. We talked about that. Anything more to add? Nope. Okay. Just that we should get it within the next couple of days. Um, my fear is ADP beyond um, finance, twenty-five dollars a month, rattled to Susan that they could stop paying our employees. So that's why if we put this on the agenda. Well, we, we can't let them. That can't happen. Right, and I, I've, got, I've already got. Plan. I need to talk to Curtis to have, ADP won't talk to me. So I have to get Curtis to call them or Susan and they don't even talk to Susan. So it's difficult, they're not easy. You'll persevere. I will. Okay. Will. 10, 11F, <laughs> uh, research specs for backup generator for OCTVs. So we talked about this before in the previous, I think this actually should be on the old business but um, you y'all told me to talk to uh, Parks and Recs to see what they were going to get, see if they could put a generator in the whole building. They cannot. And Jeff Kindness was going to bring an electrician in to our facility to see what it would take, and we haven't right. heard from him. From her electric, yeah. I talked to Ron, the um, Parks and Rec director. Oh yeah, because it won't, it won't take. He had a generator that. Um, he had indicated to me he thought that they could utilize for both his office and our office. Uh, it was a kind of, uh, um, we share the total expense in putting a, a generator for both facilities. Uh, he already had the generator, but when the electrician looked at it, the electrician said it wasn't sufficient not only to do um, his building, but both of our buildings, it wasn't uh, big enough. So Ron said that the generator was going to have to be malt. The one he had had to be mothballed, and he would have to pursue a, a whole new type of generator. So is is it still possible to buy one generator to support both buildings if it's big enough, or no? That doesn't seem to be the direction. No, Jeff didn't indicate to me that they wanted to do that. Oh. Okay. Because it would have to be very large and... What about the senior center? Who no. takes care of that building? They do. Park and Rec? Yep. Oh, so they put a generator and it's going to take care of that building too. Yeah, I see. Or maybe two. Who knows? Or maybe two. I don't know what, they, yeah, what, their, what their final decision was. So I, I guess... Uh, so what part, of, part of my reason for getting a generator was when we went down it threatened to destroy our playback system when we had Latronics. Well, also I found out when they in, um, installed our new playback system, they said if you go down, you'll never get your stuff back. So we ended up getting a battery backup so that we won't lose everything. Um, so it's urgent, but not as urgent as it was, once was. Well, maybe down the road you could bring us some information, information and sure. some yeah, I can have a estimated cost. Find out, yeah. Okay. Public relations proposals. So, along with um, us, me wanting to get our name out there and a good name out there, um, I was talking to a couple of people, and they suggested that we do a billboard. Ad, you know, a, a weekly billboard ad. It's a hundred and thirty dollars per day, so I would want to do more than one week, or I'd separate it one or two days, one week, one or two days, two weeks later, but no more than three or four days worth of billboard. And all it would say would be watch OCTV, Charter Channel 191, and AT and T. Now this was a month and a half ago, and I'm seeing activity, and, and Joe is seeing activity on our multiple media sites, so I could just put less uh, verbiage in there, but it's still $130 a day. Where's and that would the be the billboard um, across from Salvation Army. The big thing? Yeah. That's what this is. That this huge guy thing? owns that, yeah. 
So then you keep track of the activity <coughs> that you have, and if you yes. spent a thousand dollars on this and nothing happens, then right, exactly. So you don't have to commit for nope. It's, it's just like <coughs> just like hey, I want two days next week. I want three days the week after. Yep. I'd rather do this when we were going to have an event coming up that people are going to want to watch. Okay. Graduation, yeah. homecoming football game, and do it. Yeah. They will watch us tomorrow and... Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like the graduation or like you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, everybody wants to watch their kids graduate, football games, baseball games. How much you talk about spending? $125 a day? 130 130 no, then, like Karen said, no more than a thousand. I mean, I wouldn't go hot wild with it. I want to see what kind of reaction we get. I'm not going to go out and say, let's have a month worth without surveying and seeing what the community, how they respond to it. I guess I'm a little um, indifferent about this, but what Mo made, said makes sense. Yeah, if you does. do it prior to yeah. a major event, maybe. Uh, what are you looking for here? Well, so just approval to do it. Um, so we have been asked to cover the graduation. We will be live streaming it. So that would be a good way to try it out, to do one or two days of OCTV will live stream graduation. How are you going to measure whether or not that increased, <coughs> increased your viewer activity? We'd have to go out and ask. You would actually compare it to previous events is what I would do, compare it to the one before, the year before, and the year before that. If you're, you know, if you're jumping from 100 to two, three, four, five hundred 500 views, well then we, it worked like that. We, a however, bit. have not had a successful live streamed graduation, so it'd be hard. I mean, we got some response when the Wi-Fi went down at the school, and that was not our fault, but people came back to us and said, leave it to OCTV kind of thing. If you, if you did three different events, is that tangible? We could do graduation and like most suggested homecoming. I mean, could you get some feedback from three? I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with what, 130, you're talking $390. I mean, I, I'm not opposed to that if it, <coughs> if it makes sense, but. Like Joe said though, I mean, we've done multiple homecomings we have gotten responses from the homecomings. So yeah, we could compare it to whatever, we, what we got on YouTube or what we got on Facebook from the homecoming. <coughs> Graduation, we only had one real big event with the multimedia. What so that would be an experiment, basically. What is the next event? Graduation? The next big event is graduation. There's no? Junior. Well, we have the bunny hop. Or the you know the egg drop. That's yeah. the next event, big event. I was thinking about the schools. You don't know if any of the teams are in the playoffs. Not yet. Yeah. I think we just keep it on the back burner when we know there's a event coming up. Hit mm -hmm. it with a big flow of 130 bucks on this and see if we can get some viewers. I agree. You guys good with that? Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, so I'll bring it to you before the next event, right? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Good. Manager's report. It's two. It's a page and a half long. Um, if you guys <laughs> went over it, um, I gotta find it. Anyway. So I don't know. Um, I can blow through it. Um, tell who's installed. I mean, um, I've read it, but can you just give us the bullet points? Or? I, I am. Telvis installed. We're, we started main, uh, We started live streaming the main municipal meetings, which would meaning the village council meetings and the township board meetings. We're live streaming those when we can coordinate it. We have one unit <coughs> that we can use to live stream. So down the road, I'm going to try to get other units so that. If we have a Leonard Council meeting and an Addison Township meeting on the same night, which I don't, I don't remember what their schedules are, but we need that. Um, we've had to do some repairs on um, some of our network system, so that's put, we put money out that we didn't plan on doing. 
uh, but it was with, within the budget. We haven't had to make any budget amendments yet. Um, let's see, I'm looking to make the studio more pro prosumer friendly, and I'll talk to you about that next meeting. Um, researching, I researched all that insurance information. I can do that again. Um, I've gotten told you about the network drive failure, and you can see the details of that. Um, we've used 37% of our public relations budget, which is why I'm asking for that other stuff. Um, oh, one thing. So we have a communication gap, and so um, there's been six events in the village that we were not made aware of by the committee putting on the events, we found out through Facebook, et cetera, so we were still able to cover them. But if you could mention to your boards, please let OCTV know if something's going on within the communities. I'd really appreciate that and talk to your, whatever, your DDA person and, and <coughs> et cetera. I don't want to go into detail, but um, in the meantime, I've also asked the village of Oxford if they would consider making us, like the Oxford Leader is the, the newspaper of record, I'd like OCTV, and it's not for status, but I'd like OCTV to be the television station of record. It's not for status, it's so that we're called along with Channel 2, 4, and 7, and Flint, and whoever else gets called when there's an event going on in the community. Um, and, and, and there's some new people in the, in the, um, on boards, so I just want to remind everybody. She's so being I, so tactful right now, I can't even explain it. I am. And so I also will, I've approached the township supervisor in Oxford, um, and he told me to get together with Curtis to see if we could put a proposal together. The, the, they, they're asking me to write the resolution, which I have, but I haven't submitted that to any of the boards yet. So that's coming up. You can't have somebody on a specific date review the various communities and entities, like the chamber and the Oh, DBA. there's so you much stuff going on. I understand, but you can't have them review their websites or their Facebook pages. We're doing all that. That's how we're. But historically, press releases go up, right? I'm not if disputing that. If the community that. wants the newspaper or the television station there, historically and professionally, press releases go out. We shouldn't have to spend hour after hour of our day researching this Facebook page, this Facebook page, this web page. I mean, we, Dave does a lot of that to begin with. And so we know where all the baseball games are, we know where all the sporting events are going on. We do have entities that call us, like Upland Hills Farm, they'll call us. The schools are really good about calling us and letting us know, but there's some events that have happened, six of them, since December that we did not get called on. And so I just want, I'm just asking you guys to remind Who did your boards, I would prefer not to say Again, right for being tactful. <laughs> it always is. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, All right, so you're being tactful, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, I, I don't know if you recall, we lost our um, network drive for a while. We did have to repair it, I've already mentioned that. But Dave was down for a couple days till our IT guy could get in here, who's getting busier, by the way. Um, but he's very loyal to us because we were his first television station. Um, so in the meantime, the IT guy suggested that we do a Carbonite cloud storage. And so we've, we have set that up so Dave Dave's workstation is a lot more stable. Oh, good. So that's what's going on with us. More detail in the letter, but I'm just trying to get through it. That's it? And I'm okay with doing my um, review in June. Yeah. When you know the job. Any questions? When I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Any questions for the manager report? Nope. Committee reports, technical committee. Um, I have not done anything uh, because I'm still waiting for a technical committee uh, partner, but um, basically the last <coughs> uh, investment in uh, equipment has been the last thing that uh, we've uh, pursued. If there's uh, 
any board members that want to be on the technical committee, they're welcome to volunteer. But right now, uh, we probably won't be doing much for a while. <coughs> Personnel? Put it on until July. Oh, I thought it was June. Or June, so we can do it in July. <laughs> oh, we'll love to meet in June. So we're, we can you're do talking it. to manager's uh, evaluation. <coughs> yep. Anything else? No. <coughs> um, just that. Our next meeting's April 25th. Is everybody going to be in town? <laughs> Ed, you going to Norway, Cuba, Wait, what? Abu Dhabi? No, I'll be here. We're going to start a trial that day, so I'll keep you posted. Uh, it'll be downtown Detroit, so if okay. it goes, I, I will not be here that day, but I, things change. Right. Dime, so. Okay. Well, Thank you. 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 Yeah. And trial, I should say, not court. And congratulations on your grandbaby. Grandbaby Ted. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, Commissioner Collins. <laughs> Catherine. Just glad to be here. Yay. I'm sure <laughs> John. Okay. No comments. Care. I don't have anything. No comments. Well, I don't have any comments either. Make a motion to adjourn it. Five fifty-five. Support. Awesome. All in favor. Aye. Five minutes early.